today I'm bringing you this spring makeup look featuring the Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. To start with my face, I'm going to moisturize my skin with the e.l.f. Nourishing Night Cream and then I'm going to go ahead and prime my face with both the Nivea Pulse Shave Balm and the Maybelline Baby Skin Pore Eraser. For foundation, I'm going to be mixing two colors, both from the Matte and Poreless line in 128 and 220. Moving on to the eyes, I'm going to use the Rimmel London Eyeshadow Stick in Chest Passing Taupe, which is like a pinky taupe color. I'm going to put it all over my lid, and then I'm going to take my first eyeshadow and a blending brush in the color Milk Chocolate, and I'm going to blend it all over my crease, almost all the way to the brow bone. Then I'm going to be taking the color Marzipan, which is like a pink shimmery color, and that will be the main lid color that we'll be using today. Then I'm going to take the color Semi Sweet in an M433 from Morphe, and I'm going to apply that in the crease, making sure to have the most color payoff right at the crease and not blending out too much towards the brow bone. Then I'm going to mix marzipan and strawberry bonbon to make the lid more pink. I'm just going to use the same brush as before and making sure to apply it more intensely in the inner part of the eye. And then I'm going to take my M433 again without any more product on it and just blend everything out. Then I'm going to take the E40 by Sigma in salted caramel and milk chocolate and I'm going to apply this in the upper crease just to warm up the look a little bit more. With a smudge brush, in this case I'm using one from e.l.f., I'm going to apply semi sweet on the outer edge of the lower lash line and then I'm going to go ahead and take marzipan for the inner lash line. For concealers, I'm going to be using the Fit Me by Maybelline as well as the Age Rewind and I'm going to apply that in a triangle shape and blend it out with my beauty blender. I'm also setting that area with my Laura Mercier powder and then I'm going to go ahead and apply the rest of the concealer in the places where I want the most light to be reflected like the bridge of the nose, Cupid's bow and the forehead and again I'm blending with my beauty blender. I'm going to go ahead and take a pencil brush and champagne truffle and I'm going to highlight the inner corners of the eyes. Then I'm going to be lining my eyes with the NYC liquid liner and I'm just going to give myself a regular cat eye. After the eyeliner, I'm going to be doing my brows and I'm using the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in both Espresso for the tail and Ash Brown for the inner part of the eyebrows. Going back to the eyes, I'm going to highlight the brow bone with the color White Chocolate. Moving on to contouring the nose, I'm going to be using the color Shadow Play and the color Lyric from the Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette. And I'll just be using a blending brush to do the contour color and just a regular concealer brush for the edge of the nose. To warm up the face, I'm going to be using, again, the metal shade from the Kat Von D palette and the brush from Morphe, the M527. To contour, I'm going to be using the Morphe M523, which is a smaller version of the brush used before. This will give me that control to really emphasize the contour in my cheekbones. 
For blush, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in Rose Champagne. This has been my go-to color for the spring lately. For highlight, I'm going to be using the Wet n Wild Boozy Brunch and with an e.l.f. blush brush, I'm going to be applying that to the high points of the cheeks. And then using a pencil brush, I'm going to apply that to the bridge of the nose as well as the cupid's bow. Moving on to lips, I'm going to be using both the lip liner and lipstick from MAC in the color Whirl. I'm going to be lining my lips as well as filling them in and then applying the lipstick over top. And then after that, all that's left is applying some mascara and falsies and of course some setting spray to make sure that the look lasts all day. And that's it for the look. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you want to see more of me, subscribe for more videos and hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed. Thank you for watching.